Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins uh, everyone, today is Christmas Eve, right? Uh, actually, I'm from New York. And also, I was born in South Korea. South Korea. I grew up and raised up there. Um, but every year, uh, Christmas, I always spend the Christmas Christmas in Dallas. Uh, because we gonna have a winter retreat in Dallas every year. So that's why many uh you know from you know since 2011 uh we've been doing this, we've been having um the winter camp. For over 10 years. So I'm really honored to be here this morning, this evening. And um, I'm really appreciate that. Yes. And also I want to thank to Pastor here. Allow me to preach the gospel. To Everyone, what is the Christmas? Oh, that's right. The day that Jesus was born, right? Oh, everyone, like December 25th is not the correct Jesus died on Jesus uh, was born. But the people, you know, the people decide that this date. But uh, And they okay, let us have, let us celebrate for Jesus Christ. Everyone, today I'd like to talk about Jesus Christ. Why should we believe in Jesus Christ? So when Jesus, before Jesus was born, the Bible said that he, you know she conceived uh, by the Holy Spirit. The Jesus mother, Mary, right? The Mary tried to find out the room. At that time, there, there is no hospital and there is no people who help them out. Uh, they were looking for the hospital. But there is no hospital, right? They, you know, Mary tried to knock the door. Knock, knock, knock. I think maybe Joseph. Because Mary, like, you know, 
Her belly, right? No, Marie, how do you So, is, please raise, raise your hand. Is there anybody who gave birth the baby? Oh, yeah, some of them, right? <laughs> Pastor and me, we don't know. We don't know how much painful. Everyone, I have a wife. I have a three kids. So I, when I was in Orlando, Florida, Orlando, Florida, my uh, second daughter was born. 2012. I follow my wife. I, I just I dropped my wife to the hospital. I, I entered the room. And I was able to see my wife. Right? I just say, Oh, honey, are you okay? Are you okay? My wife like tried to curse me. <laughs> I think maybe women, like sisters, are, you know, they understand this, right? Mm. So, you know, like, I don't know how much painful it is. You know, Mary, Mary also, like, oh. Oh, Joseph. Joseph, please find out the room. The baby's coming out. Joseph was like hurried to, you know, rush out to find out the room. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, hello. Is there any room for us? They said, no. no. We don't have any room. Just find out another side. Just go away. And then Joseph went, went away. Oh, knock, knock, knock. Who are you? Who's this? Oh, I am Joseph. Uh, so may I have a room for may us? Uh, without you no, we don't have it. Everyone, this was the situation when Jesus was born. That's why he found a manger. It is most dirtiest place in the world. You know, Jesus was born. Jesus was born in manger. Where did you born? Maybe, maybe hospital, right? <laughs> hospital. Hospital, right? Yeah. I was born in hospital too. <laughs> but Jesus was was born in manger. It's like a dirty. Did you urinate and defecate it? Like just there, there are a lot of like dirty things around there. Everyone today, Jesus Christ wants to looking for you. You know, Jesus wants to find out the place to born. Jesus is going to, you know, knock, knock on your heart. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, sister. Hey, May I come in? in? May I come inside of your heart? But the, as like the Bible said, no, I don't have any room for you. You know, as we're witnessing other people, many people say, oh no, I have no room for Jesus Christ. Everyone, Jesus is looking for dirtiest, dirtiest place in their heart. Jesus is, look, Jesus is looking for a sinner. He wants to born in their heart. 
Remember, he was born in manger. Which means he was born in the dirtiest place. Everyone, manger represents our heart. Dirty and filthy. Sometimes we are so embarrassed because of our sin. But Jesus is looking for your heart. Hey, sister. Hey, Hey, brother. Hey, I want to born in your heart. Yeah, May you open your heart. Can you open your heart? May I come in? in? This is what Jesus said to us. I went in Everyone, why? Everyone, what the reason why? The, re the most reason why Jesus Christ came down to the world. What is the meaning of the name of Jesus Christ? What is the meaning of the name of Jesus Christ? Today I read. Today I read the book of Matthew chapter 1. Verse 21. Right? Matthew chapter 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sin. Everyone, Jesus wants to born in your heart. Because he wants to save you from your sin. Yes, no matter who you are. If you accept Jesus Christ to your heart, he's going to do this. What? What will he do? He shall do this. That cleaning your heart. Wash all of your sins. He will save you from your sins. Everybody, is there anybody who accepts Jesus Christ? They can be righteous. Because Jesus came down to the world because of your sin. Because of my sin. As we look at Jesus Christ, yeah, Jesus came down and washed all my sins away on the cross. Everyone, the Bible is a really thick book, right? The 66th book. You know, the 66th book always focusing on Jesus Christ. There are a lot of stories in the Bible. These are shadow of Jesus Christ. Everyone, we are celebrating for Christmas, right? But I want you to know why we are celebrating Because Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Everyone, when Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. Because he came down to the world because of your sin. He said, it is finished. It is finished. What was finished? Your sins were 
finished. Pata deba lewili, pata deba ta uleba, pata deba wili. Amen. Amen. Yes, Jesus came down to the world for your washing your sin. And then from that time, he wants to lead us to the life. Everyone, Christmas is happy day. Not only for Jesus was born. Because he washed all of your sin. And he came down to the world. That's why we try to celebrate it. Oh Lord, my sins were my sins were far away. Oh Lord, Lord, my sins has, be, has been washed for a long time. My sins, my sins has gone far away. My sins were washed away forever. Oh, I have a return of redemption through Jesus Christ. Uh, as I look at the Bible, the Bible clearly tells us we are saved. Everyone, please remember the, the name of Jesus Christ. He shall call his name Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. No matter who you may be, if you affiliated with Jesus Christ, you are no longer a sinner. Because Jesus already saved you. Jesus already give you the righteousness. Everyone, today is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas. From tomorrow, from tomorrow, no one can say I am sinner. sinner. Uh, uh, this is the day that my my sins were washed away. Uh, this is the day Jesus was born for my sin. Uh, I am free. Uh, I am saved. Uh, I am righteous. Uh, I am sanctified. This is how you are supposed to witness to God. Everyone, thank you for coming, everyone. I think Pastor prepared a lot of programs uh, this evening. Uh, I want you to remember Jesus Christ through this, this time. Yes, when you go back to home, I hope Jesus Christ was born in your heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.